Hello, maestros. My name is Vahan, and we're here to maximize our workflow. This episode, I'll be doing a quick tutorial on the quick record mode, as well as talking about the functions that I have assigned to my function keys. All right, let's get started. So the first button is the escape, and we have that assigned to option escape. That will toggle on and off our keyboard maestro debugger. Shift escape will cancel out any active macros. Now, our first function key is F1, and since I use spaces, it makes sense to assign them to my individual spaces. F1, first desktop, second desktop, third desktop. F4 will open the sweet little managing manager right here where I can easily move my, around my windows if necessary. F5 will show desktop when I need to. And you can set these settings by going into your system preferences. It's going to keyboard, shortcuts, mission control, and then you can set it up here. All right, next button is F6. I have set that to my input variables. I'll update once in a while. F7 opens up keyboard maestro. And F8 is to open up my razor or weaver profile. Since I use that as my input device, and I really like it because of its instant switching abilities and its good amount of keys. All right, next is our F9, which opens up our conflict palette. F10 is for my another conflict palette, but I use it for testing macros out. F11 and F12 are our quick record mode buttons. But if, before I talk about them, I'm gonna talk about the last button, which is the eject button. And I still use that for control shift eject to turn off my monitor. Save some energy, it's a good button to know. It's pretty nice. All right, so go ahead and make that quick record button. Command N to make a new macro, call it instant noodles. All right, next is our new trigger. Set that to F11 or whatever you like. And then search for macro and you'll find a nice little record quick macro. Drag that little guy in and then set this one to F12. And then let's try it out. So let's say I want to record me doing a search. So I have it like this. So I hit F11 to start the record, boom, and then perform my action. Command tab to switch over to Chrome, click in the search box, and then type keyboard maestro. And then exit out of the record mode by pushing F11 again. There we go, very nice. So let's go ahead and try it. Here we go, F12, boom. And you can incorporate little delays in your instant noodles by, let me give you a quick little example here. Go back, go back, give my maestro. So if I hit record again, switch over, and then click here to make sure it's selected and then go keyboard. And then if I wanna add a quick pause after that, I just hit this little, little clock icon I'll, I'll hit it even twice. Give me a two second delay. Then continue on with my action. Hit 11 to go out. So let's go ahead and try it. And watch for the delay. F12, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, see? That's how it's done. All right, so record mode, the instant noodles, you know, functions much like the record mode. And just keep in mind that you might encounter some problems, especially with the scroll wheel. So, you know, when you, you want to navigate to places, it's a good idea just to use your keyboard to do so. You know, function arrow key down to navigate to places. It's pretty nice. All right. Now let's talk about these options that you have. So you have the first option here is the enable key repeat. Pretty much is self-explanatory so let's say if i have if i start the record mode now go start it and i go oh oh yeah it's 
equal to a branch. Try that out and then exit it. Control delete. And then I, if I hold down F12 now, it goes, oh yeah, a whole bunch. Very nice. It's still going. There we go. But if I have it disabled, I hold it down, it'll only do it once. All right. Next is my add. Add to macro palette and then add to system or status menu. So status menu is up here. You see that you have the ability to play back your macro as well as your global macro palette here. You have a instant noodles here as well. But it's like a, mm, mm, no, too much. I just just use the uh, F11, F12. Pretty neat and fun. So that's instant noodles in a box. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.